monitoring broken robots. Good morning, Eve and a possible night, beautiful humans. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Today, we're going to be doing our fifth episode in the Atomic Heart single player campaign Let's Play series. So, it's a where do they send the stuff they see? Information from the security cameras is sent directly to the airborne robot control hub known as the Hawk. Right. So, what will the Hawk do if I end up on camera? If you're detected, the Hawk will sound a level one alarm and all nearby robots will converge on your current location. If a camera sees you attacking a robot, a level two alarm will be activated and the Hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. No, why did no? It's frozen real quick. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Damn it! The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come out of stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully mm. there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. System? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Grin! Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Xena, huh? <laughs> Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now <laughs> I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little <laughs> tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. And you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that Volan. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right. I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. This game has a nice feel to it. It's got a nice look. I like the textures and the uh, scenery is just nice. Nice game to look at. Hmm. No. Oh. oh. As angry. Let me go, you son of a bitch. Any reason? Fucking bot almost killed me. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> that was dope. Well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need them. 
Come on in. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <clears throat> Mm. Regarding Shush. the reports, your beloved Sachinov son, I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find <laughs> out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scam. I am fully aware Are of... Are you? Our Atomic Heart Project my, is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, <laughs> Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Sechenov. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? The Politburo has come to a decision. And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? <laughs> well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, huh? then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry <laughs> about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody <laughs> like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve. Haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember fire. since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Anyway, I gotta run. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? 
No, Granny Zena. Well, I So, what will it be, Major? Out to there. Who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? Uh. I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly which side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechinov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Nah, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right camera. Okay, let's open the gate. There we go. Those little buggers. Me in there. Oh, not me, man. Ah. Oh. Me alone, long time. Oh, things are on my ace trying to kill me. Almost there. Lesnaya Station. Uh, how far? Gotta go, man. Donkulous. Aim. Far as hell. Ish. Something else, man. Oh. Here we are. Almost. And just like run, bruh.
Hey yo, what a yo, that too. Ah, we found the station, and the train is right there. All we have to do now is take a seat and we're off. I sincerely hope we don't encounter any obstacles along the way. <laughs> don't jinx it, glove. Otherwise, we'll find a goddamn canister lock on the door. There are bodies everywhere. They never saw the bots coming. No one expected civilian robots to display this kind of aggression. No shit. I wouldn't have seen it coming either. Robots pulled our country back from the edge of a cliff after the Brown Plague. A decade later, people believe civilian robots are dependable and helpful. Greetings, comrade. Welcome aboard Vortex, the unique high-speed... It will be my pleasure, comrade. The current load of the train line is zero percent. You may depart immediately. Great, let's go. Assuming you have purchased a ticket. A, a ticket? A fucking ticket? Are you stupid? There are corpses everywhere. There's an emergency protocol in effect over the entire facility. Start the train right now. According to Soviet law, free travel is... The lag. I need a train ticket. Gotta take it. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. I gotta go. Stay is. Here. Where is the train ticket? Who has the train ticket? What? Yo. Bruh, how are they gonna just. I'm supposed to get in there, man. Redonkulous. How are they gonna. Oh my. Goodness, crazy. Tell me I came all the way over here, I can't even uh I didn't expect this. Yeah. Nice. Can I have your train ticket, comrade? It's an emergency. Are you I can have Do not approach graphics, they're dangerous. We out now. Yep. Back to the train we go. Just this thing in my see. 
Nah, we're good to go. Greetings, comrade. <laughs> Is this ticket okay? Will you let me ride now, you blood sucker? Why didn't you notify me you had a travel document, comrade? <laughs> wow, we just witnessed a real miracle of science. The train is now <laughs> departing. Next stop, Sol Charles, Station. Professor Zaharov's death seems pretty cut and dry to me. What's so suspicious about it? We've already been over this. There are too many unanswered questions. Hey, I need to get to the bottom of this. Sechenov's the only family I've got, okay? I understand, Comrade Major, but what do you need to get to the bottom of? I can't even imagine Sechenov killing his best friend. That's just crazy. I mean, why would he do it? Why, indeed? That is unless Zaharov betrayed him like his own colleagues did. Dr. Filatova, for example. Filatova went after Petrov. She's a woman in love. She wasn't thinking straight. Oh, fuck. What's that thing? Oh, crispy critters! Station off safe. Oh, okay, okay. Easy it's like, now. okay, okay. <sighs> Comrade Molotov is on his way Head down. to the. <clears throat> uh, Comrade Sechenov wants you to go there right now and in initiate an emergency drill. Uh, got it? What the hell for? Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, um, Anything else? Uh, Comrade Sechenov asked me to give you this. Huh. This will come in. You're a soldier, Agent B3. <laughs> Your job is to cover me. What are you doing? So just cover me! Huh? Mm. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> uh, slippery little bitch! What? He just has a shield. Come on, not that hooker bot again. <laughs> Watch out, there are robots beneath us. Really? I thought they were ladybugs. <laughs> and here's Lenin, just like at the VDN H in Moscow. Indeed. But this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots, based on a sculptor's sketches. This Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? I'll deal with it. Hmm. Well, okay, what do we have here? Are you planning to disable the Hawk? It isn't responsible for opening the VDNH's doors, you know. Uh, w well, I gotta do something, okay? I'll start with the Hawk.
Alright. Get my oven. Pretty fun game, a little hard. A little challenging. Yeah. It's the Hawk's service button. What does it do? It will cause the Hawk made it. So it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. <laughs> what should I do? Hang on to this handle or something? Hold on tight. Hawks are not designed to be ridden. <laughs> what are these cables for? They weren't here before. The cables stabilize the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. Here we are. Interesting fact. From a bird's eye view. You can see that the grass in the park was planted in the shape of the peaceful atom. A bird's eye view? No. I don't want this smoke, man. How'd they go? Ah. Oh. Jeez. Dude, that is crazy. Even. Fucking tin man. From a bird's eye view, you can see that the grass in the park was planted in Please the select the desired procedure. Thank you. 
that thing again be careful hog seven units are quite dangerous oh come on it's freaking adorable Jeez. civilian robot you tell me major you have far more experience with combat robots than i do I, I do i mean shit i do but i can't remember a damn thing they seem different somehow pretty impressive isn't it you can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Dr. Sechenov down again. Uh, <coughs> well, I'm going to end this episode here. It's the 33 minute mark. It's going to conclude our fifth episode in the series but if you enjoyed make sure to like comment follow and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the sixth episode but as always peace out thanks for watching i love you zoom